right, and um, I bought this dimensional gel. It's a Zellcraft product. I think it's a South African product. I'm not sure. Um, they say you must apply to a dry surface and allow to dry until transparent about 18 to 24 hours. Clean up with soap and water before it dries. So I'm going to try and use it. Um, I'm going to make myself a rocket pot here yeah, that I want to put a succulent or a cacti or something in. So I just made the shape of the pot. So I'm just going to make some random dots here on the pot and see how it dries. And tomorrow then when it's dried, I will see what I'm going to do here. I don't know if it's going to lose a lot of its... Uh, we will see if it goes flat or, you know, um, the dots will get smaller when they dry, but um, we will see that tomorrow. I'm just going to slightly put a little bit of um, this texture onto this. I didn't want to do that, but now I did, so... Let's see what it does. So see you when this is dry. Okay, I've just drawn quickly a type of a succulent here. I've got this um, reference. So I'm just going to take my rot ring tiki graphite and I'm just going to put my lines where I want them and then I will start to uh, paint it So I'm not going to do much more than that and then I'm just going to take my greens and uh, pinks and I'm going to paint this. Okay, I'm going to start with my my background. I'm just going to paint this area yellow. And then I'm going to go to a little bit of my pinks for this area here. Just making some areas a little bit darker and some a little bit lighter just to make an interest in the background. Okay, I'm going to start with my cacti. I think you know if you call it a cacti or succulent, I'm not sure always. So I'm just going to do the shadow parts first. The light is coming from um, the right hand side, so got a costed shadow there and um, here and then there
I'm just going to make the inside of the pot dark. I'm still going to go a little bit darker in some areas just to create a darker shadow in inside. I'm thinking about the pot. Let me just maybe do the foreground. I'm going to make it black and white. Just to make a heavy contrasted picture. So I'm just going to make some of the blocks like a checkerboard black and the other ones white. I think I'm just going to make the pot uh, also a greenish turquoise color. So um, I'm just going to put in the white and then I just need to make a little bit of thorns on the on the plant and then I think I'm almost finished then. So it's a very quick and easy little painting. And you don't use you have to use your expensive acrylics and stuff for this. You can just use your ordinary craft craft paint anything that is available in your city or in your country where you live. So now I'm just going to make a little bit of thorns some of them I'm going to make a little bit darker some of the other ones it's almost a little bit too dark I'm just making little dots where I think the thorns need to come. I'm just taking a little bit of white with my with a dirty brush and I'm just going to highlight a little bit areas where the thorns can maybe come and I'm gonna take a little bit white more and I'm gonna try and make some fine thorns here and there. just want to highlight one area here Just want to take a little bit of my darker color and just put it inside the pot here. Yeah? I'm just going to wash a little bit of that darker color. I've already done a 
transparent color so I can wash it sort of over the pot and it will still show through some places just want to wash in a little bit there as well I'm gonna see what I'm going to do now I'll maybe take a little bit of my tissue and just wipe back into the areas where I put the dots And then I'm just going to take a little bit of white with my, my green and a little bit of my yellow. And I just want to, maybe a little bit lighter, I just want to highlight some of these areas to bring out the texture in the pot more. Trying a little bit of my yellow now. I'm ju just dabbing a little bit in between these areas just to highlight the side a little bit more. I'm just going to take those lines through. I'm just taking my black a little bit of water and remember the thing with craft paint is that you need to sometimes go uh, over the areas where you already painted Whereas when you use your, your um, nice acrylics or your artist acrylics, you don't need to worry about that. But as I said, I want these to be beginner friendly. And uh, the best way is to start with this and work your way up to the better acrylics. If you can afford the better acrylics from the start, then you can buy the better acrylics. There's no, nothing, no problem there, but... Um, if you're starting out and you just want to see if it's going to work for you or be something that you would like to do, then you can start with your your um, craft paints. Okay, I'm just going to try and take a little bit of my white on my finger and just slightly touch the raised areas and it's not going to work but it's okay I'm just going to give it a highlight like that so I think I'm going to leave it now I'm just going to write my name and then I'm finished um, I hope you enjoyed it if you did I would love to see you next time and you must have a lovely day and take care